He doesn't seem uh, interested in attacking our hover vessel. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 12. I am an old guy gaming, and we are continuing our adventure here on this ice planet. So uh, I've spent maybe 10 minutes or so off camera since the last time I left you guys uh, going around looking for corn dogs, and I discovered that they are all over the place. <laughs> I started I started bookmarking them like, you know, like the hints uh, suggested. And then I just stop because you go out on this plane here and they are, they are all over the place, literally. So you can see my food is pretty much maxed out. And I have three more here and five more in the output. I've just been cranking them out. So food is now no longer a problem. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, it, you know, and of course, I can move way, way faster in the hover, hover vessel. So that does make it a little easier than if I was on foot. Because, you know, when you're on foot, you have to stop, at, you know, every 30 seconds or so to warm up and cover more territory to see it but once you get in the hover vessel i mean they're they're just all over the place so yeah we've uh we've definitely taken care of our food problem now and our temperature problem so um i guess the next question is what should we do next now something i discovered um and i didn't even realize this until i opened it up is take a look inside of my hover bike i actually have a multi-tool and five satium plates um so the multi-tool is going to definitely be useful but we need fuel uh, for it so we either need to find you know some charges for it or get to the point where we can make those and I think we have to be level three to open up the multi-tool which will then also allow us to make the charges now I'm not sure if we can make those in the portable constructor or not but I think probably our next move should probably be um, I mean what you know and what the other thing too is once I can get the charges for the multi-tool I'm going to take this cockpit off of here and fit it correctly um you know so that it works works better you know kind of redo this hover hover bike i'm not going to like do a complete rebuild of it but just enough you know to to get it balanced and make it look not so damn janky um so anyway that's that's not a high priority right now it's just something that eventually we will take care of so i think probably our best bet right now is to go back to this starter area because there was a bunch of other uh, points of interest that we didn't you know we didn't have have the opportunity to look at check those out we might be able to loot some some stuff and in, including you know some charges possibly for our multi-tool and then after that i think it'll probably be time for us there, there's two things i want to do we, we need to establish some kind of a base of course um and i also want to start working on the storyline and so we have you know these solo missions uh, which apparently have been upgraded and improved, you know, from what they were before. And then, of course, we have all the Polaris, the Talon, and the Xerax missions that we can do, too. And those look, some of these look familiar, and some of them look like they might actually be new. Uh, so those will be interesting, but we probably should hold off on those until later. Right now, we'll start this, you know, the first solo mission um, and figure out what we're going to do for a base. Now... I don't want to stay on this planet long term either. That's the other thing we have to take into account. So, um, you know, we need to uh, whatever we do for a base. I don't, you know, I don't want to spend a, a lot of time on it. So that way we can, you know, get out of here and start exploring. So let's go back to this area. Let's make sure we're going in the right direction. Yeah, I don't have a scanner on the hover vessel yet, so I can't scan unless I actually get out of the vessel and then you know do it manually which is not a big deal to do um okay that's all the food stuff yeah that's everything over there so we got a lot of stuff over there that we can still investigate so let's move in that direction yeah see <laughs> you can see the core dogs are just they're actually abundant more more than i uh expected them to be it just like i said it, it that didn't that wasn't really apparent until we were able to get into a hovercraft and start moving around quickly and cover more territory but they as you can see they are out here so you know if you guys are playing um hold on a second i need to redo something on my keys here if you guys are, are gonna you know do this playthrough too just know if you come down to the planes uh the, the food you won't have a food problem you might still have a cold problem if you're not in the hovercraft but at least you won't have a food problem all right, where are my roll? Here we go. All right, I want to um, remove... Wait, how do I... 
how do I disable that? To assign a modifier, such a shifter all itself to an action, press and hold the key for one second. Um, all right, and let's... Keys assigned to... If you add this assignment, all actions with assignment will trigger. You may add this assignment, replace conflicting assignments, or cancel. He is already assigned to the following action. Roll right. What? That doesn't make sense because I'm I'm hitting the my number pad key. What I want to do is I want to take E, remove E from there, but I'm not. Do I hit delete? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I used to be able to do it. Um, okay, well, let's assign it then to a, a key. Replace. What in the hell? Is this, ju is this just not working correctly? I think this is just not working correctly. Because I, I assigned the left bracket, which is a key I wouldn't normally use. But it's not replacing it, and it's not adding it. It just... To assign a modifier key, so the shift all itself to an action, press and hold the key for one second. Well, I don't know that I want to... I don't want to do that, though. What about this alt? Yeah, this is, this is apparently not working. <laughs> anyway, the reason I wanted to do that is because... I have my mouse buttons assigned to roll, and I use E as my action key, so, you know, it's, it makes me roll the vessel when I try and press it to get out, particularly if the vessel's not, com you know, come to a complete stop, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but anyway, hopefully that's something they will fix soon. So we are working on trying to um, uh, also get to level 3, of course, because then that's going to open up some important things for us uh, in the skill tree. So let's just kind of keep moving this way. I'll stop and keep picking. Yeah, see it rolls to the right when I hit the E to try and get out. Maybe I should tra retrain myself to go back to using the default F key. Let, let's try that. I mean, you know, I've been using the, the E key forever for this, but... Uh, open use. We'll put that back to F. And it, it'll probably take me a while to get used to that again, but... I think that's going to work better now that we have this issue, at least until they fix the, uh, you know, the, the a keyboard assignments, because those appear to be bro broken to me. Come on, get out. There you go. Yeah, see, I'm pressing E to get in. I'm going to need to press F. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are... Let, let's hop back out again and do another scan, because I'm not entirely sure uh, where we're at. Okay, that's the large wreckage. Yeah, so we basically need to move um, east by northeast. Okay. So kind of over this way. I have... The turning on this is terrible, too, by the way, so it's kind of hard to turn. It's got good speed and acceleration. Whoop. Okay. That was weird. Let's go see what this resource is. Well, we're going to hit this other POI before we get to the resource. So that's our wreckage, okay. All right, does this have something lootable in it for us? That's the question here. Let's take a look. Is that a, a lootable container? I don't think it is. So this is probably only good for salvage. I'm thinking. It's not dire now if we get a little too cold because we have lots of food now. Not that I'm, you know, going to deliberately get too cold, but it doesn't potentially mean a death sentence now like it did in the first two episodes. So, uh, looks like that's a copper deposit over there. Okay, that's good to know. I'm not going to grab that right now because our ability to haul stuff is pretty limited right now. Let's just take a quick dig and see if there's anything un under here like a hidden a hidden uh, you know container that we can loot like right there for example <laughs> all right awesome 
Okay, that's uh, useful stuff. Let's uh, grab that and get back into our cockpit because we are cold. So we have a total of 10 energy <sighs> energy bars. And, uh, oh, we can we might as well keep making them too because, I mean, we got plenty, plenty of protein there. Let's take a look at our map here. So the copper deposit is there. Let's just go due north and see what this thing is that's 200 and some odd meters away. That's another wreckage. Okay. Teleport station. And there's the, th the thing right there. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Multi-charge. Beautiful. Okay, so you know what that means? That means we could actually maybe try and fix our cockpit right now. Um, if we do that, though, we should probably maybe go back down by the lake where it's relatively warm, so I'm not constantly having to freeze my nuts off trying to fix this thing. Let's grab this iron. Well, we'll, we'll worry about that in a little bit. That is not absolutely essential for us to do right now. I want to get the rest of these um, points of interest uh, discovered. Keep pressing E. <laughs> uh, get the rest of these points of interest discovered and looted, and then uh, <clears throat> maybe we'll work on our cockpit. Because, because you know now we can remove it without destroying it with the uh, with the multi tool. Where are we at? So we've got two things on the other side of the teleport station to discover yet in this general vicinity. Okay, so there's another wreckage. Yeah, that was nice that we got that charge. Happy about that. Okay, where's the where's the loot container? It's probably buried too, I guess. Right there. Look at that. All right, energy matrix. I'm sure that'll come in handy for something that's going to need it. And then we have that question mark thingamadoodle. Probably another wreckage. Yep, looks that way. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this thing is so badly unbalanced. It's rather comical. Here we go. Uh, all right more components all right take a look and see where we're at now so that I think we've discovered all of that stuff and a large wreckage uh, let's hop out do a scan and see if there's anything else nearby okay there's something uh, 1.1 kilometers off that direction uh, so let's go look at that I'm expecting you know a, a, an iron and a, and a silicon deposit too in this general vicinity because that's usually what they do speaking of which there's some copper and silicon right there we might as well grab it okay we were pretty much heading in this direction We're into a nice forested area here. It's called a grove, according to the biome type in the upper right-hand corner there. Those Ava raptors. This is a taiga snow biome. Okay, let's scan again. Oh, we got a, an assassin over there. Okay, shit. Let's, uh... Let's get away from him. He can damage our vessel too, so we don't want that to happen. Yeah, I know I passed some corn dogs, but I'm not really too worried about corn dogs right at the moment. All right, is this just more wreckage, or what is this place? An ancient temple. Hmm. That doesn't sound dangerous. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's investigate. I don't 
see anything on the surface. <laughs> but if we if we dug down though, we might be able to find something. So let's warm up and then we'll we'll just give that a shot and see what happens. <sighs> I'm going to drink both of these now just to give us a couple more moments that we can stay out here. Probably not going to make that much difference. Can I not uh, mine this earth? Oh, there we go. Okay. You know, we got to be careful not to get stuck because we don't have a jetpack and we can jump relatively high, but... Yeah, we just need to be careful about that. So let's dig down this way for a second. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of hard to get anything done with, uh, with how damn cold it is outside, but at least we're not in fear for our life, so... Always something to be thankful for, you know what I mean? I am of the opinion that there's nothing here, at least nothing we can loot, because I pretty much dug everything out underneath <gasps> it. It is minus 20 degrees out, so it's colder than the hell outside. And uh, I just keep, you know, I keep using up my food, and we shouldn't be doing that right now. We're not in danger, but we don't have an abundance either, so... Well, okay. Um, Let's try one more thing. I don't think this is going to make any difference. But let's just do one more scan to see if that reveals anything at all. Um, I suppose... I mean, I didn't dig around this side, so maybe I'll, I'll just dig a tiny bit longer. And just, you know, give it one more shot. But probably isn't going to reveal, uh, yield anything. Yeah, you know... I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments if there's <sighs> actually something here, if you know if there is, but I don't think there is. And uh, this is just not a good time, minus 22 now, uh, for us to be out trying to do that. Because we're burning through our food. Okay, well, um, let's see here. It's interesting that there's only one copper deposit that way. Maybe what we'll do is we'll circle around to the west here and kind of uncover this area and see if, you know, anything significant... Oh, shit yields itself uh yeah we don't want to mess with those guys not till we can get some gatling guns on here so we shall steer clear of them okay let's hop out here and do a scan Nothing that way. Oh, Lord. It was minus 27 <laughs> right before I hopped back in, the, in here. Okay, we got a corn dog and an iron thing, so let's grab that. There is an alien assassin off to our 1 o'clock position, but he's far enough away to where I don't think he'll aggro us. Assuming that's the only one around. Oh, pick that. Oh, Runky. I'm still hitting the E. Old habits. Didn't quite make it back in before we got too cold. Alright, that's just a <sighs> stone. He doesn't seem uh, interested in attacking our hover vessel. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, there is some corn dogs, though. Is he still chasing us? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's do another scan here. I 
Oh, we're just, we're actually heading back, right back towards where we were before. I thought I was a little further north, but... Here, let's do this. Let's put a, a waypoint up here. So that way I know I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, it's really hard to turn this thing. Minus 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Yowzers. It is cold, but we are kind of up in the mountains now. All right. Let's hop out very quickly here and do a scan. Minus 49. Okay, did that yield anything new? Not really. This looks like some kind of a lowland here, so let's... Well, we also have it there, too. So maybe we'll go a little further out this way. Tiger Edge is this biome. We have a an assassin there. Oh shit, there's one right there. I was gonna hop out and get those corn dogs, but I think that's probably not a good idea now. Now we're in Taiga proper. Lots of uh, wildlife here, lots of fauna. Um, and it's, but it is 10 degrees positive. <laughs> so, uh, that makes a little more sense though. You would think that, you know, where it's warmer, there's gonna be more creatures. Why is that? Oh, I put that in the mountains. I see, okay. Well, we don't need to go up there. Let's, uh, let's delete that. And I'm going to, let's kind of head south now. We'll just kind of do a sweep all the way around here and then, you know, maybe figure out what our next move is. It, I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea to be near the teleport station, I guess. Um, so, yeah, let's just uh, go south a little bit and see what that reveals. All right, we have some very large structure over there. Looks like a tower of some sort. Let's approach it with caution. In fact, you know what we should do? Yeah, let's hop out and do a, a quick scan. Okay, because that's green, I'm going to assume that's Talon. And Talon are not hostile, unless you piss them off. Yep. Talon Warrior Temple. Look at that thing, man. That's huge. <laughs> okay, I wonder, do the Talon have some kind of a facility that we could go inside and warm up in? There they are. Hi, boys. Boys and girls. Oh, look at that. There's a cool berry plant.
Yeah, they look pretty much the same as they did in previous versions. You are feeling cold. <sighs> Okay, all their places are off to the southwest. So let's go investigate that. Whoa, shit. Giant ant scorpion creature thing. They have like a, a ballista thing now. That's kind of neat. That's new too. I don't. They didn't have those before. In Alpha Eleven. A farm. Cool. Oh, here we go. A Talon hut. See, normally these guys, at least in in Alpha 11. Oh, tugs. Oh, tugs. I'm going to take a wild guess here and say those are probably not tamed O-tugs. I don't think the Talon tames their own O-tugs. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think these guys are going to have, like, an interior that we could go in to warm up. Pretty sure that they won't. Okay, well, at least we found their territory, so when the time comes, we can, uh, you know, come, o come over here, do some trading, and maybe do their quest line for them, too. Small outpost. Excellent. Well, guys, I think it's time for us to wrap up this episode. And so what we're going to do um, next is we probably should think about some kind of a base situation first, just so we have a place to store stuff, to make stuff, and that sort of thing. Did we, um, did we level? Oh yeah, we did. We're almost we're almost to level four. Okay, that's good. That's very good. So so let's make the multi or learn the multi tools so that way we can actually make the charges for it. And uh, we want to do we want to make the shotgun for sure. I might hold off on the assault rifle. Um, we definitely you know once we can get to level five and get this armor, that's gonna that's gonna make a huge difference, of course. It'll provide us some warmth to give us the jetpack, the shoulder light, you know, all the stuff that the suit, uh, uh, oxygen, so we can actually swim underwater and get seaweed if we need to. I don't know that we need to do that, though. Um, we're going to need, you know, some basic base stuff. So the generator, we can now do the small constructor, food processor, all that sort of thing. So I'll kind of look at this and decide, you know, what the most critical thing is. Well, obviously, the generator we absolutely have to have. Um, that gives us four points left, and we need a f fuel tank. Okay, so that leaves us four more points. We don't need an O2 station down here. This sucker's five points. Um, we already looked in tools, didn't we? Miscellaneous. We don't necessarily need to make that yet. Can we, uh, can we make a basic storage? Yeah, we can make cargo boxes. Um, we're also, you know what, though? We're going to need ammo box. And we're going to need turrets for defense because I'm assuming the drones still come after you. 
right? Uh, once you, uh, you know, activate your core, power up your base, whatever it is that triggers that. Can't remember for sure. Where are the cannons at? Oh, here, projectile turrets. See? So we can't do anything with the... We can't get those until level 5. So, hmm. I don't know. Starting the base now might be risky unless we make it way underground. And, the, you know, the other advantage of doing that is it'd be a, a tad bit warmer. Not that once we pressurize it, not that, you know, that won't matter so much. But, okay, well, let me think about that. But the two, the two overriding things that we need to do next is get a base set up somewhere and start the storyline for, uh, you know, for the solo missions. And in doing that, you know, we're going to get XP and stuff and have fun and all, all those important things. Uh, the having fun part being, of course, the most important. <laughs> all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.